<laughs> Hello, YouTube. This is Care Bear, with me with my <laughs> kids. Elora, can you say hi? Hi. Hi. And Elias, can you say hi? Hi. How old are you? Three. What? Three. Three. Are you in preschool? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you like it? Mm. Can you give mom a kiss? Mm. Ah. Oh, I think I gave you lipstick. <laughs> Alrighty. Go in the other room. What do you want to say? Hi. Again. That's it? Once again. Once again. Okay. Well, I'm here today on February 7th, February, July 17th, um, with just an update on what's going on with me, um, mostly about the pregnancy and just kind of, I want to share some excitements that I have, some fears that I have, some things that I've kind of thought about and, um, have been, you know, have, have realized as well, just information that I've done, um, research wise and that kind of stuff. So I just wanted to give that, you know, give you guys some information, um, as to how my last week has gone. As of right now, I have not gained any weight. Um, I'm still 147 right now. It was my pregnancy, the, the day I found out I was pregnant, was 179. That is my current weight. I am five weeks and five days as of today. Um, I am, I'm not expecting to gain any weight until, you know, probably, I think they said it's around like the eighth week or something. The seventh or eighth week, I think, is when any sort of weight gain would be normal. So anything up until that, I mean, at this point, the baby is, the, you know, the size of a sesame seed. I think the next step is like a blueberry. So on Thursday, the baby will be the size of a blueberry kind of thing. So it's a significant increase from a sesame seed to a blueberry. There might be a step in between that, and I can't think. But, um, you know, but the last week, I think the um, amniotic sac was only the size of a grape. So everything was super small as it is. So I think that there is extra um, fluid, extra blood, extra, um, you know, like my chest is significantly larger even now, but um, nothing has resulted in any sort of a weight gain at this point. So some of the excitements that I have been um, really thinking about, I mean, obviously just the new addition to the family is really exciting to me and to Tim and to the kids for the most part. Elias was not as excited when we found out we were pregnant. I think he really didn't understand really what it was anyway. I mean, we told him that there was a baby mommy's tummy and he was kind of like, I don't want there to be a baby in your tummy. But he's been the only one so far who has talked to the baby, huh? Mm -hmm. I love you. Love you, love you. You're such a ham. All right, go play. I love you. Go play. I love go. you. I love you too. So, um... I'm really excited about being pregnant in a smaller body to be able to, I think, experience the growth and the size and the change in my body at an earlier place. I mean, I think that before, it's funny because I don't remember, like, at what point I started feeling like I looked pregnant. But what I remember, I, mean, I don't remember for sure, but my memory is that I felt and seemed like I felt like I looked pregnant really early. But I think that was just because I was heavy. And so I was kind of like, okay, well, then I'll just... I'll just say then, you know, my stomach is there because I'm pregnant. And so I would allow myself to then, you know, I, I was able to move quicker into like the, the state of feeling like my body looked pregnant. Whereas now, um, you know, I can look at my stomach and I still don't see any difference. Obviously, everything's so new. But I am looking forward to that. I feel like my, my stomach will be more prominent. It will be tighter. It will be, you know, the feeling the baby for the other people or for myself on the outside will happen, you know, sooner and will be more prominent. So that's kind of neat. I, I'm excited for that. I'm excited for nursing. I think it's, I mean, I've always enjoyed that part of, um, you know, you know, after the baby was born, I've always enjoyed nursing. So I'm looking forward to that again. Now, uh, multiples, I have twins on both sides of my family, my mom's and my dad's side of the family. Um, and I don't think that Tim has any multiples on his side so I don't know I remember last time I was pregnant with Elias I remember hearing somebody say that multiples are not <clears throat> are not hereditary um or or they I can't remember why but somebody was saying well just because you have multiples in your family doesn't necessarily mean that it's hereditary I had always heard that it was but I don't know maybe or that it was on one side or the other so like my mom's side of the family has um I, identical twins and I think there might be fraternal twins further back um, 
and maybe they were saying that identical twins are not hereditary but fraternal are or something i'm not exactly sure but there's the possibility anyway i've always been told and there is even if there is not you know even if there aren't twins in you know the history of families there's always the chance so it'll be interesting to find out I've always gone in with my previous pregnancies thinking, oh, I wonder, and you know, obviously it's only been one. But, um, you know, either way, I'll be happy with that, with however that works out. I'm also really looking forward. Don't slam the door, Kay. Okay. Thanks. I'm also really looking forward to not being sick, if that's the way it goes. Again, I don't remember when it was that I started feeling sick with my last pregnancies, but I remember it being early, like normal early but lasted the entire time. I know I mentioned this in my last video with Elora. Um, I think I, I think I mentioned with Elora, I gained 15 pounds total. I lost 15 pounds within like the first uh, four months, I think, and then gained. So I was, I like didn't ultimately didn't gain any weight um, from my pre pregnancy weight because I lost 15 pounds and then I gained the 15 pounds. But with Elias, I think I only gained nine pounds or it was vice versa. It was nine with Elora and 15 with Elias. I can't remember. Or 11. I don't know. Anyway, so um, it'll be interesting to see whether or not I'm sick <clears throat> through this pregnancy or not. Um, one of my fears is being sick because I know it will be different having had the gastric bypass, knowing that my stomach is really small. Um, I'm, when I have when I have thrown up since my surgery, um, it's only, I think, been three times. And it's only, it's, I've never been uh, sick throwing up from, like, having the flu. I've always been through, I've, the three times that I've thrown up, I've thrown up because either I've eaten something too fast um, and have not chewed it all the way and it's gotten stuck. Or, well, that's actually the only reason this happened three times is because I had... I had eaten something too dry and it got stuck or I didn't chew it enough and so it was too big and it got stuck or you know a combination of the two but um, it, throwing up is such a different experience now I was watching sunny days videos um, because she had a baby uh, I think it was about a year ago and so I was kind of watching her videos of um, post-op and you know pregnancy after post-op and uh, one of the things she said and it was like totally exactly what I had experienced was that it was like you open up and just chunks of things fall out of your mouth projectile fall out of your mouth and you like can't breathe it's like it it like you can't get you can't gather your breath enough really it's very um very hard to explain but but really uncomfortable and I've never been a fan of throwing up but um it's significantly more uncomfortable you know after having had the surgery one of my fears, this is kind of an interesting fear, but it is also of not being sick. And this is one thing that um, I don't I'm, I don't think a ton of people know. But when Alora was born, um, she was born in a hospital. I was put on Pitocin, but I had a natural birth. Otherwise, no pain medication, nothing. Um, it was incredibly, incredibly difficult, incredibly painful. Uh, I wouldn't change it for anything it was such an incredible experience and my recovery was you know no time at all and stuff so but um, when they told me okay you are fully dilated when they said you can push I pushed two times she was born and I think four minutes from the time they told me I could push the time she was born with Elias they told me I could start pushing at eight centimeters and I think he was born within like seven minutes and I think I pushed four times so it was an insanely quick delivery once they told me I could push but I always had kind of mentally contributed it to the fact that I was sick my own whole entire pregnancy and I threw up every single day multiple times a day even if it was dry heaving so I felt like my muscles in my stomach were had been prepared the whole time in order to do the pushing ultimately and so you know there's a part of me that thinks if I don't get sick this time will my pushing be as um not successful but like will my pushing be as um, I always do this. It's pregnancy brain. Yeah, I'll, I'll blame pregnancy brain. Uh, will it be as... Um, oh my gosh, it's like right there and I cannot think of it. Well, I'll say successful even though that's not really what I'm, I'm thinking. Um, you know, like... 
never mind. You know what I'm trying to say, and that's really all that matters. Um, so I, that's a fear of mine is that if I'm not sick, then the pushing in the delivery process will not be as easy or as quick um, as it was in my previous two pregnancies and deliveries. I am, of course, fearful of the weight gain that I know is inevitable. I know I cannot lose weight throughout an entire pregnancy. It wouldn't be at my weight as it is now. It wouldn't be healthy. I could continue to lose weight for the next couple of weeks if it was a pound or two or, you know, a small amount as long as I were to continue to gain weight once the baby started growing and there was, you know, the increase of amniotic fluid and all that. Um, but a sunny day also, you know, she said it best. I think that, it, you know, it's been a, it's been this obsessive battle this whole two years that I have wanted to see a, a number that was acceptable and a preferably a decreasing number over time, um, you know, for the last two years. And so now all of a sudden to, to accept an increase in that weight over the next nine months and be comfortable in that and, and, and accept that and be okay with that is, um, you know, <clears throat> it's a, it's a difficult thing. Um, but even more so than that, I think the fear of not losing the, the extra weight once the baby is born is more terrifying for me. I'm afraid that I will fall into bad habits. I'm afraid that I will use my pregnancy to overeat or to snack because all of a sudden I'm eating for two, which I, at this point, I don't feel like I'm any hungrier. I don't feel like I am any, um, you know, that my stomach is any different. I, I feel like I am, you know, the same. And so I'm not changing the way I'm eating um, at this point. So um, one of the things that I, that I realized that I had found myself saying, um, a few months ago is, you know, like I would eat something and I would feel the tightness of the pouch and I would say, well, at least I know my pouch is still working because it's really tight. Well, really the tightness of the pouch doesn't mean that the pouch is working. It means that I'm stretching my pouch just as I would be stretching a stomach if it were a normal stomach and I was overeating. So I had to kind of change my mind. What? No, you may not have these. These are not for you. I will give you, listen, I'll give you vitamins in a little bit, but you need to go in the other room while I'm doing the video, okay? Thank you, bubs. Hey, please follow directions, okay? Thank you. Um, so really what I had to remind myself of is that I needed to not count on my body to tell me when I was done eating, but to portion control before I started eating so that I knew this was the amount of food that would fit into my pouch without stretching it, and this would would satisfy me um, instead of eating until I started feeling the pressure and then thinking, okay, this is when I need to stop because that's how I got to be, you know, 254 pounds. So um, that's, uh, you know, that's kind of something that I had realized, um, you know, over the last couple of months and stuff. But I've been thinking a lot about that now in like, I need to not just say, hey, I'm pregnant so I can overeat or I can't eat more because at this point I don't need to eat more. I am not hungry or my stomach is not any different. So um, I'm hoping that will be, you know, a consistency through through the, the pregnancy. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this as a part one. I'm, I'm 13, almost 13 and a half minutes in, so I'm gonna stop this, I'm gonna do it as a part one, and then I will do a second one with some more baby, baby pregnancy stuff if you're interested. So, alrighty guys, I'll see you in a bit, bye.